guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to take your body measurements now this is one of the most requested videos so far and i'm so happy to put up this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to measure your client and don't forget to join us on facebook tg designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website all the details are going to be in the description box below in the course of this tutorial if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to watch our previous video where i explained distance calculation and also size charts so now let me show you guys how to take your body measurements Guys, I'm going to be using her as my model to show you guys how to take your body measurement. So say hello to my viewers. Hello. So now, make sure that when you are taking your client's measurements, make sure that your client stands straight, okay? It is very necessary for your client to stand straight in order for you to get the accurate measurement. And also, try as much as possible to communicate with your clients to in order for you to get the accurate measurement also so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and take the shoulder measurement so for the shoulder measurements you can see that at this point now we have our neck bone and we also have our shoulder bone so you have to place your tape measure from this neck bone make sure your client is looking straight take your measurements from this neck bone to your shoulder bone so this point now i have seven inches for the shoulder measurement so at this point where you took your shoulder measurements you place your tape measure at this point to take your sleeve length so if what you want to measure is a long sleeve you go ahead and take the measurements for a long sleeve if you want a short sleeve or three quarter sleeve just go ahead and take the measurements for the length now the next thing you also have to take now is your round sleeve measurement so when you place your tape measure on your round sleeve, make sure that it's actually very free and your tape measure can move round easily. So for this now, we have 14 inches for our round sleeve measurements. Now, the next one we want to take now is the basic measurements uh, basic measurement so now you place your tape measure at this shoulder bone and you take your shoulder to bust you can see how i'm taking my shoulder to bust i place my tape measure on this shoulder bone here and then our shoulder to bust or shoulder to nipple is 10 inches so make sure that you just place it slightly okay so that your customer can also be comfortable around you when you're taking the measurement so we have 10 inches you place your tape measure this way so this is the under bust. So the under bust measurement now is 14 inches. You can see this is under the bust. Now you place your tape measure at this under bust and you take your waist measurements. So now you can see that our measurements we are still holding on to our under bust measurements, which is 14 inches. Now you want to take your top length. You go ahead now and measure it we have 24 inches if what you want is a short gown always communicate to your client to know where she wants her length to get up to we've gone ahead now to place the tape measure at this point which is our short our short gown now you want to take your long gown it is also necessary for you to communicate with your clients to know the desired length that she wants so if she wants it somewhere around here this is 57 inches and if she wants you to probably sweep the floor we have about 60 inches now the next one that we want to take now is our bust measurement okay so you place your tape measure and make sure that your measure your tape measure stays at the nipple part and this is because this is the fullest part of the bust so it is wrong for you to take your measurement this way and it is wrong for you to take your measurement this way so make sure that your tape measure stays on the middle part of the bust because this is the fullest part of a female bust so while you place your tape measure always communicate with her that is it okay do you want it tight do you want it free how do you want it and also try to move your tape measure to be sure that it can you know move across the bust freely now you want to take your under bust measurement this is our under bust okay where we took our measurements earlier this is our waist measurement you can see you place the tape measure on the waist and then you move it freely to be sure that it can move across the waist 
now the next part you want to measure now is your hip measurements you go ahead and place it can you please turn to the back you can see that when you are placing it at the back make sure it moves across the bum area because automatically you are going to make sure that it fits into this part so you can see so move turn please so you can see what we have we have 40 inches for our hip measurement so now if you want to take your nipple to nipple okay you want to take your nipple to nipple you automatically place your measurements at this point where you have your nipple and then you place it to this other point so for the nipple to nipple now we have eight inches so by adventure in the process of you taking your measurements you were not able to get your nipple to nipple measurement because not every client find it very convenient for you to touch their boobs area so in my video where i explain distance calculation i explain how to get your nipple to nipple how to get your shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust just in case if your client doesn't feel comfortable or if you forgot to take the measurements while you are taking it of course it happens so please kindly make sure you watch that video and i'm going to put the link in the description box is actually going to help you just in case you forget to take that measurement so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to take your measurements if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye, bye.